Welcome to quick tip number 30, Parallax. In this short video we explain you how to make a parallax video. This parallax or dolly effect is widely used in cinemas and very easy to do in DroneLink. There are a couple of ways of doing this, like a waypoint mission, but we're doing the droney from the on the fly mission. In principle, you fly to a point, you're focused at the subject with a clear background and you fly backwards and then try to keep the drone as steady as possible. In DroneLink this is of course very easy to do. For a clear understanding it's best to do this in 4K. You can do that in other resolutions as well, but it doesn't work that good. As said, try to fly your parallax flight as steady as possible. 3, 2, 1, starting mission. Of course, make sure you record your flight. Mission accomplished head. And that's it. The rest you have to do in post. In the top right corner you see a link to a website where they explain the principle of a parallax in very clear terms. The second file we use as the begin point, which is the end point of the first file. We do that on top of each other as you will see. If you put the opacity back to about 40% you can maintain the same scale as the first one, but also the same location and that's important. Now put the second copy on top of the first copy. Now when you skim between the second and the first clip you will see the difference and now in opacity what you have to do. Now you have to play with your zoom and the position. So you go zoom in your original clip that the two houses are exactly on top of each other. You also have to adjust the position a little bit. And as always, the more precise, the better the result. It's easiest to fix on one single thing in your subject, either in this case the roof line or maybe the small black window. When you're happy you can delete the second clip. Now it's time to start playing with keyframes. And here is your parallax in the editor.
And because you zoom in about four to five times, you also see the necessity of doing it in 4K so you don't lose any resolution when you post it on YouTube. <laughs> 